start discussing terpenes. This is Nigel, this is uh, Anne Carrie, this is where it's like your expertise comes in. Um, so first off, what are, uh, what are terpenes, what are phytocannabinoids, what are flavonoids, and why do they matter to patients? Why do we need to know about these things? Yeah, so I, I can start if that's okay, uh, Kelly. Yeah, so, yeah. uh, uh, I've uh, spoke plenty. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, a fun way to, to think of the plant is basically it's a chemical production factory itself and the biological reasons for why it's producing these uh, phytochemicals. So uh, as you mentioned, cannabinoids, terpenes, and flavonoids is they're really uh, antimicrobial compounds, they're anti-predatory uh, compounds, and uh, and sometimes they're a cry for health in nature. So most plants have uh, terpenes. Cannabis has been bred specifically and grown specifically to produce an overabundance of these congested uh, glandular trichomes full of these rich chemical uh, uh, assemblages, basically. So uh, why is it important for, for patients is, is essentially what you hit on earlier, Matt, which really struck home, is that it's a complex natural uh, 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 therapeutic medicine. And what happens is, is that you mentioned some oils were working, other oils were not working. And there's been a very unique evolutionary history with uh, people growing cannabis since antiquity for millennia and cultivars that aren't working for them, they just stop growing. And ones that are working, they keep growing. And so basically your own personal experience as a patient has led to this evolutionary interplay with people and, and the products. So uh, what we're doing is tapping into the biology to give people that really natural uh, pharmaceutical product. And so the science isn't quite there with what each individual terpene is doing. But what is there is this sort of entourage effect where you see almost across all the literature that it's the suite of compounds acting together is the most active in alleviating medical uh, symptoms. So Kelly, if you want to jump in on, on that, uh, go for it. No, I think you've, you've covered it beautifully in, in the fact that, that the plant itself is producing them in response to its environment, usually some form of stress, be that abiotic or, or biotic, it, you know, it comes under attack, so it produces more of a particular terpene in order to defend itself. Uh, and it defends it again, defends itself against microbes. And we can tap into that. If, if, it, if it's defending itself against microbes, it'll help us defend ourselves against microbes as well. Um, it, you know, it's a, a fascinating plant and, and it's, it's so complex. Um, as you say, the trichromes are what, where these are all produced. Uh, actually on the, the leaves of the plant themselves um, and the six different types of these and depending on the structure, depending on which of these compounds it will actually produce. Um, so we, we can almost trick the plant as well and, and steer the plant into producing these compounds as well through light and um, to encourage particular ones because some of the uh, cannabinoids are produced in response to UV light um, almost as a sunscreen as one theory I've kind of um, actually Read the, the 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 reason that uh, strains, particularly that started off in okay. Afghanistan, were high in THC. It it was a means of sunscreen for the plant. Um, a theory that, that that is certainly you no know, flavonoids are produced in response to light um, and they are a, a defense mechanism but the these compounds aren't produced within the trichomes they're deep inside the leaves themselves um they'll produce those beautiful colors that we see um as well but terpenes are not just exclusive to cannabis they're in all plants um Lavender is, is a particular one that's got little lol in that you'll be very familiar with. Um, Myrcene's in mangoes. Um, and Myrcene's a very, very dominant terpene found in cannabis. But the reason that you get an individual terpene on its own and smell it and think, well, that doesn't smell of cannabis. As you mentioned, it's them all together, the, the, all of these terpenes all mixed in together, all produce these, this, this fascinating kind of fragrance that cannabis produces that's very distinctive to it. 